Today I had the great fortune to be talking to Senator Tammy Duckworth from Illinois. She's one of her champions uh, the dis in the disability movement. So welcome, Senator Duckworth. It's good to be on. Good to see you again. Thank you. The first question is, what what are some of the work you have done to advance the ADA? Well, what I've done here has been a couple of things. Uh, one is actually to defend the ADA, because unfortunately the ADA is under attack. And so one of the uh, biggest things that I've done this past year has um, really to prevent um, an attack on the, ADA, on the ADA and on the rolling back of um, the protections under the ADA. Um, in addition to that, I have also worked to expand access and make things easier for those uh, uh, who uh, have disabilities, especially who use mobility devices to travel. So I passed the uh, wheelchair rule for airlines to make sure they take better care of our, of our medical equipment after the airlines have broken many of my wheelchairs. Okay. And we'll be talking about that in a minute. But what does devices mean? Devices are any type of um, equipment, um, whether it's a wheelchair or a crutch or a cane that you need to help you to um, move or uh, 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 basically live your life. Okay, thank you. Um, and going into the second question is perfect. Um, you mentioned a wheel, wheelchair. I have several friends of mine including yourself, um, who have had their wheelchairs broken. And what have, you, um, what have you been doing to stop that? And what, what can we do? Um, what, um, can you tell me a, a little bit about the, the app? Sure, so my wheelchair rule requires the airlines to report whenever they break a wheelchair. Um, because right now, the airlines have to report when they lose your suitcase. They have to report when they leave late. But they don't have to tell, they did not have to tell people that when they broke their wheelchairs. So when you're going to buy a plane ticket to travel on United or American, you didn't know if that airline breaks a lot of wheelchairs or not. So my rule makes all the airlines report how many wheelchairs they break every month. So as a traveler, I can look and say, you know, I'm going to buy a ticket, um, but I'm not going to buy it on airline A because they break too many wheelchairs. I'm going to go with airline B because they do a better job of taking care of wheelchairs. And it's about empowering the consumer, but the ultimate goal is for airlines to do a better job of taking care of wheelchairs. And um, what's the, is it an act or a rule? It's now a law. So okay. we passed it. So it's now law, um, and so now airlines, as of December of this past year, has had to report how many wheelchairs they break every month. Okay, and I understand that there's a consumer, um, a book about consumer, like if you want to buy a microwave, you can read about microwave. Mm -hmm. will, it, will this be in that kind of book? It's on the internet. You can go on to the Transportation Department of Transportation's webpage, and you can look, and it will tell you how many wheelchairs each airline has broken every month. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. As one of our champions in the dis in the in the Senate, um, what kind of advice would you give to people who want to be in the leaders in the disability community? To never take no for an answer. Because so often when the disability community has gained, it's because we kept fighting, we keep pushing. Even my wheelchair rule, I had to write letters, I had to make phone calls, I had to ask the Secretary of Transportation to, to questions, why are you not doing this? Um, and finally, I was able to get the law passed. But it wasn't something that happened the first time I asked. So what I tell people who have something that you're passionate about, just keep trying. You have to keep trying because it's hard to change things. And uh, sometimes people don't want to change things, especially when it's difficult. Um, but 
if you keep up at it, you can make a change. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's a great advice. And then I, I always say, don't give up. Don't give um, up. Exactly. Last week we lost a a, a leader in our mm -hmm. in the disability movement, and I'm sorry, mm -hmm. and that's a shame. And as a person who who mentors people, um, I worry about that. Um, um, can you share what she taught you and what what her work meant to to the disability community? So we lost Marka Bristow. Um, she has been a longtime advocate in the disability community. In fact, she was part of the original group who pushed for and got the ADA passed 30 years ago. And she was part of the original group. If you ever have a chance to watch on TV the documentary about the ADA, she was part of the group that crawled up the steps of the Capitol to demand that Congress pass the Americans with Disabilities Act. So what her work meant to me is everything, everything. The reason I get to be a senator, the reason that this Capitol is accessible to my wheelchair is because Marco Bristow at one time did not have access and she climbed and crawled up the steps in order to pass the law. Um, she was there as someone who taught me about the history of the struggle of persons, people with disabilities. She was my mentor and she also was someone who pushed and prodded me often. I would get a phone call from Marco and I knew it was her giving me my marching orders on what I needed to do next. And she was also a dear, dear friend to so many of us, and I'm just so sad that she's no longer with us. But her legacy will continue. Yeah. And I I really believe that she's here in between us. She is. And for every one of us that she touched, that she mentored, she's with us, and she'll always be here. Well, well thank you for a great interview and thank you for being one of our biggest champions in the, in the Senate and thank thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Thanks Senator Duckworth. Bye. Thank you. Bye.